Uh, good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, not so with that, not so with that. It is I, Farmer Ben Kreuzer. Welcome to my channel. Um, so here we are. We are back once again. Normal sort of um, bilingual, bilingual intro. Well, I say bilingual intro, bilingual greeting, perhaps more accurate. Um, usual stuff going on around my base. The silly little wavy men like this one going across the bridge here. Still waving, wandering around, doing very, very little. Oh, let's see what heroes I got in my five-star camp. Yeah, let's claim all. Grey men and fry tuck. Mm. Mm. Oh, there we go. So at least it was only my training camp. Nothing very exciting to write home about. Uh, so let me see. The purpose of this video is obviously there's a new, well, there's a challenge event out at the moment, as you can sort of see in this corner here. The Guardians of uh, Teltok, not Tetlock, as I think I've called it in the past. Guardians of Teltok, um, which is all sort of set in this Aztec, Aztec temple. The heroes that you can get are up here at the top guardian falcons very useful i've got him chameleon very random not sure where you'd use him in the game he's quite annoying as a boss but not sure where you'd use him in reality guardian gazelle um a dancing gazelle thing panther very 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 useful indeed uh guardian owls okay not bad hero uh guardian kong no not particularly special guardian bat i'm not sure where you'd use him and Guardian Jackal, who is, uh, again, very, very useful because he does uh, a colour defence down, which will stack with armour defence downs. Anyway, without further ado, let's go on to the uh, to where we are. So, score-wise, you'll see on rare, I'm aiming lower than normal. Uh, I'm aiming for the top uh, 10,000 um, rather than the top 1,000. Uh, the reason for that is, is essentially just uh, energy. For, on my part, I'm sort of having a bit of a break from... Uh, rare on this one. It'll also give me a bit more time to focus on Epic. Um, so that's rare. Epic, I'd like to go for the top 500. I don't know if that is uh, realistic or not. We'll see. Um, stages wise, I start off really, really well up to stage four, and then it all sort of falls apart a bit after there. So I've got quite a way to go on that one. And lastly, we've got Legendary, uh, Legendary. Um, my scores have been pretty okay, really. Not doing too bad. Um, I'm only aiming for the sort of the top uh, 10,000, which is this bracket here. Top 1,000 would be nice, but it seems very, very unlikely. Uh, yeah, so there we go. So that's what I'm going for. Uh, so for this one, um, I'm going to do the same sort of basic strategy I've used throughout legendary and hope that it works because it's so far it's carried me along very well um all red team um bold tusk wilbur uh bold tusk is a booster wilbur is a linker armorer and general damage uh improver guardian falcon there on the far right he is uh, there to boost my red tile damage which is very very important because obviously loads of reds uh elena there for her repost and general uh smacking about bit ability and kagan because he boosts uh mana and other things there are lots of red heroes you could take um different ones come up in different peoples i've certainly seen wilbur in some teams on legendary in the top 100 um i and like falcon and things i don't know who's uh, who's actually on the top at the minute so like mr random uh yeah he's not displaying his team you oh, oh lots of them are doing it this time yeah people hiding their teams mm, yeah that's fair enough oh here we are uh yeah so you'll see uh wilbur and falcon fe featuring quite a bit there mickey as well of course I haven't got mickey um wilbur falcon i think that's the one i just clicked on one uh ooh, lots of people hiding their teams today mm, fair enough mind you i keep clicking on the same person which doesn't help very blue team there with uh, uh guard with uh gnar upgraded gnar who does make quite a difference uh zero's gone with green team with uh wilbur again there look wilbur in the middle uh so wilbur's quite a popular one for this event uh all purple there um so yeah you know a few different different people uh different range of different heroes panther features very prevalently if you are going all purple and so on um space same basic strategy tends to be about the same. this isn't a particularly high scoring strategy necessarily but it, it seems to be working reasonably well uh so far so i'm gonna hope it works here we'll see how we go oh ah and that's just remembered hit the wrong forgotten the wrong thing waste of seven world energy there that was stupid um for this one and any of the chameleon ones i'm going to take uh antidotes because chameleon is really 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 annoying uh battle items wise sorry yes i didn't mean to say i meant to say i've got uh five dragon attacks ten um dragon attacks for burning fire and whatever else and bash your way through um antidotes for uh removing uh status ailments my heroes may be suffering 
Um, typhoons for, uh, is it uh, typhoons? No, tornadoes. So tornadoes for whirling the board around and some minor mana potions just to boost my mana. Uh, they're not qu as quick as using like super mana potions or whatever else have you, but um, I'm trying to save uh, like midnight roots and stuff like that. So that's why I'm not using particularly high powered ones of those. Um, so what I do, first thing I do on the mission, each wave is set, off, set them on fire. Get them sizz sizzling a little bit. Um, then move on to the actual wave. Let's do uh, do this here. Boom. Um, at the moment, I've got a few red moves, which is why I'm not using any of my, um, my things. Now I'm going to be controversial here and line this up with this guy simply because I know I'm going to hit him with a red tile now. Um, that'll do more damage and I'm not going to kill him because I want him to suffer some damage to pass it on to the other guy. Uh, there we go. Kargan maybe will finish him off. Yeah, it's going to be a laner to finish here. So I haven't actually used a tornado yet. Um, no particular reason for that and let's just go with that one in there. Same sort of thing again. Wilbur in the middle and uh, Falcon. Well, Wilbur hits everyone, but Falcon in the middle particularly means the red tiles do a ton of damage, as you sort of hopefully got a bit of a glimpse of there. Uh, I don't know if this will get me. This might actually complete this wave. No, not quite. Um, but the next move that sort of get, gets me any reds will. Uh, there we go. So, boom, second wave is done. So, actually, this one is going, uh, going pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to lob in a firebomb there. Uh, now I'm going to use a tornado here because I'm not seeing a great bunch of screen. Uh, a great bunch of screen, does that even make any sense? I have no idea. Um, I don't need to use Gold Tusk yet, so I'm going to hold off on him because the attack boost is already up and he health is pretty good. The others can all go for it. And then I'm going to use the tornado again because the screen is decidedly taking a turn for the worse in terms of reds. Still a bit rubbish, so I'm going to do that again. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Um, hmm. Well, it's still a bit. It's more than a bit rubbish, right? Let's do one more tornado. Hopefully, at least. Ah, there we are. Got a little bit better now. Got some red, uh, some sort of half decent red moves coming up. I'm going to use Kargan here. I'm not going to use uh, Wilbur or um, I do we call it Falcon. I'm going to hold off on them. Plenty of red tiles this time round. Uh, oh, Comedian's taking, uh, Guardian Comedian there taking a good pounding, which is what I wanted to see. He then changes everyone's colour, which is rude um, and unnecessary. You can change them back, thankfully. That's the beauty of having um, antidotes, because the last thing I want is, uh, is well, the re you know, I'm stacking, I've colour stacked in red. Everything I have is designed for red heroes. The last thing I want is to then suddenly be using green uh, that's just ridiculous. And then hopefully this move over here will just finish them off. Uh, not quite finish them off there, but one. what I will do is I will just quickly use Bold Tusk. I may even do him a couple of times just to boost my health at the end here. Get health back to full and then quick dragon attack to just finish off Guardian Kong. And there we are over in 3 minutes and 20 seconds. I'm not too bad. I'm quite pleased with that. So, pretty healthy, 98,924, so reasonably good high score. Let's see where that takes me, 1542. So, yeah, not too bad. I could even push for the top 1,000 on that, um, based on that. It wouldn't take too many, and there's a couple of scores I could improve. Depends on uh, battle items as well. There's the, the loot comes rolling in there. So, yeah, that was actually pretty successful. That one um, rolled reasonably, uh, reasonably well. Um, I am tempted to push for top 1,000 now. I need to build some more um, tornadoes and things. Uh, look at number like 11 is obviously pretty low. Uh, well, 11 is the obvious one to try and improve. That should be about another seven or 8,000 higher. That might carry me into the top uh, top tier. Oh, oh, there you go. So I'm, uh, I'm actually quite pleased with that. That's uh, higher than I thought it'd come out. Basically, that's the strategy I've used on uh, every single wave uh, thus far. Um, yeah, there we are. That's every single wave that so far I've used that. Um, it has worked fairly, fairly, uh, fairly well, really. No, uh, no complaints there. As I've, uh, I've been lucky, let's do the summons now. Do, 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 do. And I get fry attack.
Oh, a little job. That no, wasn't far off. There we go. Ah, well, there we are. No, I'm not actually sure who I was hoping for then, because any of uh, any, yeah, <laughs> anyone green would be chameleon, I think, and that's it. Still, there we go. So, um, yeah, not uh, not too bad at all. So that's quite a successful strategy, as you can see. Um, that sort of balance of fireball of dragon attacks, uh, tornadoes. Uh, it's worth having the antidotes if you're up against um, Guardian Chameleon because he is annoying. Uh, one antidote there, as you see, basically returned everyone to red and meant my red tiles continue to do uh, maximum damage, which was uh, which is really important when you've got like Falcon and things like that. Um, I dare say there are players out there who would uh, who would go for beating the wave in one single uh, like massive smackdown um, without you know without using uh, without needing antidotes. But at least for that that last wave, I find them really, really helpful. Um, yeah, so there we go. Anyway, so this is Farm Event saying uh, thank you very much for watching. I am uh, Dioc for watching. I uh, hope that everybody enjoyed that and there was something useful in there for everyone. Like I say, that tactic I've used every wave and I haven't, um, I haven't actually replayed any of these levels. So all the scores I've got here, I've got on my first attempt which, you know, shows a reasonable degree of consistency. You know, they're fairly high scores and that's, you know, they're not going to be top um, top 10, top 100 scores, but they are reasonably consistent. So, uh, you know, I think there is some value in that and it'll certainly be what I'll be doing on Legendary in the future so that I don't have to keep replaying uh, over and over again um, as, yeah, uh, that's the sort of point in the, uh, that I'm at at the moment. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and there was something useful in there. May death come swiftly to your enemies. This is Farmer Ben saying goodbye. Take care. Bye.